swing. And I have other coaches bring me their students for short game. Absolutely. One of my best buds, Joe Howard, brought me a young lady years ago. Great teacher. And as he watched me give her a lesson and ended up going back talking to an old engineer at his club, the engineer had done the math on if you need the club head to swing different speeds, there is a math equation that says how far you should drop the weight from. Mm. Assuming the whole dead weight concept and pendulum. This is given a parameters. This math is based on a green stepping at nine level, hitting it 18 inches past. So literally he said, if he's got a four here and a four here, well the four on the front side for a four foot putt is shorter than the backstroke because there's a collision. Mm. But he said, if you swing back to the four and you let dead weight hit the ball, the ball goes four feet, 18 inches. So the idea would be, we have about 12 feet here. So I would take it back to where the 12 foot putt ought to be. And if I let the putter swing back big enough and dropped it on the ball, the ball would go the right distance and it would stop slightly shorter on this. That makes sense. So when I'm doing clinics, I always get rulers for my students. And it's amazing when I get them to realize that the backswing length needs to be bigger and faster for a longer putt they can start using dead strength or dead weight to fall into the ball. And two things happen. Their distance control gets better, but most amazingly, they all say they hit it more pure. Mm, rolls a little bit different. And I think it's because when you're surging for speed at the end of the stroke near the ball, you don't have as much control over the face. Mm. And when the, when the putter's actually free falling into the ball, and it's kind of in coast mode by the time it reaches the ball, it's a much purer strike. Which is wild because for me, when I went from my stroke, which is maybe the opposite of that, to more of this dead weight feeling, it felt out of control a little bit, but really the ball roll, the roll got tighter. So actually I gained face control in a sense by almost letting go of control. And, and it, you would get that quicker and quicker if you learned to take it back big enough to let it happen. So this, this, if you're short in the backswing, you have to be surging in the through swing. Okay, great. So this ruler, and you guys have done the math and the details of it, but I think the take home is assuming green speed and some of this uh, dead weight concept, the pendulum concept, you're going to have a certain length stroke for how far you want the ball to go for a certain green speed. And the fall through, because of the collision, slightly, less. slightly less than the backstroke.